Greetings voters in District 14 of North Dakota. This is Jay Ranke from the Reagan Republicans of District 14. Hey, I had a totally cool experience right now in the, in the Denver airport. I was uh, sitting next to a couple and it turns out they are the world junior dance skating champions. Uh, just, just recently won that award and she's from Minot and her partner is from Russia and they're flying to Minot to get married in two days. Isn't that totally cool? Just exciting. Just had a nice visit with them. Anyway, um, the Wi-Fi speeds on the ship on our, our Alaska cruise were quite low so it, I, there's a lot of stuff I couldn't keep up with. But today sitting in airports, I've been looking at some, at some Facebook posts and I want to say a couple of things. One is... Uh, there was one Facebook post that accused John Nelson of voting against a bill which would protect teachers who didn't want to use gender-changed pronouns. Now, that's not exactly true. There were multiple bills in the legislature, and John voted against one of them. But the reason is because there were duplicate bills. He voted for the stronger bill, the bill that was signed by the governor and turned into law. John voted for that. He voted uh, to protect teachers from uh, being forced to, to, to use different gender, uh, gender pronouns for students. So that's not quite an accurate statement, uh, the Facebook post that I saw. Another uh, issue that I think needs to be noted is that um, there, there, there's campaigns saying, we believe in border control. Uh, John and Jerry and and uh, Robin believe in border control. They are not for open borders. I don't even know why that's a campaign issue. And third, the issue of voting against big government. Unfortunately, I have to tell you that some of the people who claim to be against big government and vote against every budget item that comes down the pike without solutions about how do we solve that problem. In fact, in one instance, one of the, gen one of the gentlemen, one of the legislatures, pardon me just a second, somebody in Fargo lost their cell phone at the gate flying into Denver. Anyway, one of the legislators who voted against every budget item 39 times, and he didn't vote against the other ones because of health issues. In committee, he advocated a $5 million increase on one of those budget items. But when it came to the floor, he voted against it. So he can say both, I'm for something and voted to raise it, but on the other hand, he can say, but I'm against big government, so I voted against it. People, the legislators are required to pass a budget every year. They can't leave without passing a budget. Now, some people take a posture, I'm just going to vote no on everything. But that's not effective governance. If you want to drop, a, if you want to lower a, a, the budget, then come up with solutions. But just to vote no on everything is not doing the job of a legislature. It's a posture. And that's not what conservatives do. We're Reagan Republicans. We do what conservatives need to do. And government is not just the enemy. It's, it's a tool. It needs to be, it needs to be, have boundaries put on it. But just to vote no on everything is not uh, responsible governance. There you go. Folks, you take care. Goodbye and God bless. Bye-bye.